Okay, we are back at the American Crafts booth and Natalie's going to show us another fun tool. So today we're making traditional sheets. You've probably seen this before. We have a lot of free printables available on Heidi Swap's website and blog. So we're just making these as demos today. But one of our new awesome products that we're featuring is, ta-da, the toner pen. A lot of you have asked. We have come out with this amazing toner pen where you can actually hand draw and make your own handwriting now, so it's kind of a big deal. My favorite thing about the pen is you can use it on materials and surfaces that you can't put through an inkjet printer. So think of like chipboard or really thin balsa wood. This is a fabulous way to make all of those supplies that you couldn't run through your printer before, so kind of a big deal. Um, what you do is you just take the pen, and I'm just gonna draw on some simple cardstock. You can see on my little demos over here that I've been playing around with and you just write the word um, one of my favorite things to do with this tool is I took some really cute little gift sacks that you can buy that you would never ever be able to print on I've used this pen way too many times today so I took some traditional little candy sacks and I wrote all of the kids' names for a party on them and then ran them through my mink and I would have never been able to print on those and they turned out so cute. All my friends were asking how I did all the kids' names in gold. And we're just going to put the foil on with anything that's toner based. The trick is that your art and your foil face up. And then you just put them inside your mink. And just like a laminator, it's a slow process because it's very even and consistent. Traditional laminators have heat elements on the side, but if you're familiar with the mink, it goes all the way across. So it's a very even inking process, foiling process. Um, if you decide to use the pen on thicker surfaces, you're going to want to use the four or five on your mink machine. Uh, if you're familiar with the mink, the one is really great for vellum, three is really great for traditional cardstock, four and five are for thicker materials. So if you're doing fabric, I'd suggest a four. Chipboard, I really like to do on five. It just gives a little bit more heat. Do you know what the thickest material is that you can put through the machine? Um, I would say chipboard. If you go to stores like Hobby Lobby, they have that really thin balsa wood that will yeah. go through as well. Okay. I found um, that you don't want to force the machine, so if it does go in naturally, then you're good to go. It's best just to kind of play around with it and test your materials before you definitely don't shove them in there. Be gentle with your mink. But it's 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 impressive the, the thickness of chipboard that can run through it. I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna pull it out this way. And then you just pull and peel it off and there you go. It definitely has a hand-drawn feel to it. Um, I, I think it feels more custom, more just a little bit more authentic if it has your own handwriting. For those of you who love the hand lettering trend, it's a really great tool. Awesome. Thanks so much, Natalie. You're welcome. Thanks for stopping by.